Matt, well done. 4 3 victory over Ricky Walden. A long match, a gruelling one, but you must be really pleased to get through it in the end. Yeah, delighted to get through. It was a match that started off in my favour, kind of dominated it early. Uh, had some good chances to go 3 0 up, and the tie completely turned. Although um, at 2 1 up, I got him in a position where he needed snookers, and I don't really lose them frames very often, but I lost it, and that really, really hurt. Um, Ricky got some momentum, went 3 2 up, and should have put me away 4 2, but you know, I'll count my uh, blessings that I'm still in. So you went 2 0 up, looked to be in, in control of the yeah. match, but we know what happened with Ricky last night. He was 3 0 down against Graham Dotton, 70 behind as well in, the, yeah. in that fourth frame, and managed to come back. Did you fear that that might happen Not again? Really. Did you have that in your mind? No, at all? no, I didn't. I didn't, but it's amazing how things pan out because that's exactly what happened. You know, I, I'm in control of what I'm doing at the table, not what Graham Dot's doing. So, you know, he got through that last night, and at one stage, he, he was getting away with murder, Ricky. And uh, I think I nearly said to him, This is your week, mate. Imagine if I'd have said that now, I'd have felt so bad. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a funny game because I didn't feel like I had particularly much ball run. Um, I, like I said, I played well early and I contributed towards the things that happened because I missed a couple of balls to go 3-0, probably could have won 4-0. And then before you know it, you're, you're looking, you're staring defeat in the face. So um, like you say, long game, grueling game. Ricky's a very, very good tactician. Um, that's a part of the game that I really like playing. So yeah, it was long, but enjoyable. Do you take more pleasure or confidence from the first half of the match when you're in control, 2-0 up, or the latter stages when it got a bit tougher but you managed to grind out and win Definitely the, end? the second part because we can all win plan well, we can all win plan, you know, big breaks, big breaks, but when something like that happens where you lose a frame, we should go 3-1 up and the game is in your hands to all of a sudden be 3-2 down and Ricky's on 40 and you just, you know, you feel like absolute crap to be honest. It's, uh, it's uh, I wouldn't say it's a testament you know, to come through that match because Ricky let me off the hook. But still, yeah, I'm very, very pleased to have won that way. I would have been pleased to have won anyway. But, you know, that, that shows that if you dig deep, you, you can win. Overall, do you feel good about your game at the minute? Beat Mark Allen the previous round as well. So I'm guessing you're, you're feeling feeling good, feeling positive. My game's the best it's ever been. Um, you know, last year, well, actually this year, but last season, the first couple of months of the season, you know, the Championship League really helped me to, to build on my game. Um, you know, that was a massive turning point for me, I feel. I went to the Crucible feeling sharp, put in a good performance. I started slow. Uh, and since then, I've only really lost one game to Anthony Hamilton, um, a game I probably should have won, but I didn't. And since then, I've won a lot of matches. So my game's trending in the right direction. I'm playing as good as I ever have. And, uh, you know, long might continue. You said last night after your victory over Mark Allen on Instagram that you couldn't really explain how good it feels to, to play a tournament and be able to be at home and, and sort of not in hotels. I'm going to ask you to try and explain that now. Yeah, absolutely. How good does it feel to, to play almost oh, your home tournament, really? Yeah, it's it's um, it's weird because it doesn't happen very often, especially when I feel like I'm playing well and I feel like I compete. You know, it's um, yesterday before I played Mark Allen, I was doing bath time at six o'clock, you know, with the two kids, uh, you know, and it's just lovely to do that. Before then, I was just sitting on the sofa, had a little snooze, TV on, doors open, looking into the field. So it's... Um, you know, I've been speaking to Chad Daly, he's been going to play golf to take his mind off you know, the time he's got off. And it, it can get a bit boring waiting in between matches, you get a bit stale, but I, I don't have this here because I've been doing my normal routine of gym. It's not been working out by the way, I'm getting fatter by the day, but you know, sauna, steam room, my own food, you know, staying at home and then travelling down to play and it's really good. And you know, I, I don't have people shouting, come on Matt, in the crowd, but I do hear this week, you know, when, when the chances present themselves, especially at the end there, it's nice to have people cheering for you. Um, and exciting, presumably, to go out in front of that crowd and perform. As yeah, well. I mean, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's um, it's just, it's just nice to have, you know, fifteen, twenty people there that are cheering for you to win. Um, the first game I played actually was Michael White, and I had all these messages about can I get tickets, blah blah blah, and I was like, oh, I don't really, I don't really want this because, in the past when I've played like that, I've kind of froze and not played particularly well. But that's the best match I've ever played against Michael White, in my opinion. I played incredibly well, and. Um, you know, it's given me confidence to, to just have many people there. My little boy and my wife and my little boy wanted to come tonight and I just said no. I said, yeah, I said no. I, I don't think she was very happy with that, Jess, but I was like, I don't want Parker here because it's a, it's completely different having your son here than, than people. I, my niece was here with my brother-in-law, which was great, and I had loads of people supporting me, which is fantastic, and uh, I wish I could have it more often, to be honest. Would your son and your partner come to the quarterfinal or maybe no? No, no they'll come to the final if we get there. Okay. Judd up next in the quarterfinal. You said you spoke to him before. You've been speaking to him about? Yeah, yeah, just been speaking 
well, what, what flight we're going to get onto China, uh, what golf courses uh, he wants to play around. He's just asking me for recommendations, but we speak on a daily basis anyway. You know, he's, he's one of my closest friends on the snooker tour. Um, you know, he's a lovely, lovely lad. I've known him since he couldn't speak to anyone. You know, when he was a little boy, I used to speak to him. I, I like this telling this story. I tell it too much. Uh, but he used, to, he used to play the fruit machines at Prestatin when he was a kid, and I used to speak to him, and he used to look up, not speak back to me. He never, he never used to speak to anyone. He was about eight. And then one day he started speaking back to me and, uh, you know, I'd like to feel like we're really good friends uh, and that's something that I'll take away from Snooker at the end of it. But aside from that, you know, he's one of the best players in the world. Um, these are the matches you look forward to playing. Um, I played him in the final last year, I think it was. I played him in the UK just before that. Uh, my game's good enough to compete with him and I'm looking forward to playing. And you want to be back for semi-final Saturday? Yeah, it'll be nice. won't take anything for granted, but I'll be trying my best to get there. Matt, well done. Well Thank played you. this week so far and all the best for the next few days. Thanks.